off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Hey guys, I'm starting a little bit of a little project um <laughs> so i think i've mentioned it before but i can't find my wedding ring it's been since about february unfortunately back in february is when jason got me my housekeeper for the day and i haven't seen my wedding ring since he thinks he tucked it away somewhere because he saw it as he was prepping the house um, and thought he tucked it away so that it didn't get taken, um, but we can't find it now. So that's fun. Um, so I am looking through all of my little drawers and you're about to, we're kind of, I'm kind of exposing myself. but. We thought about it the other night and he's like, let's just take apart our room. I'm gonna make him do some of when he, not make him, wrong phrase. Have him help me move this entire bed. I think we're gonna have time to do it tonight. Cause it's kind of making us anxious. It's been gone for a really long time. I've gone through two little fake rings. Um, not that I need to have it on, like I don't need to have a wedding ring on, but it just, <laughs> It is what it is. I just wish I could find my ring. So I'll show you some of the drawers um, here by my nightstand first. Um, well, in a second. Um, and then this is, this drawer hasn't been touched in a very long time. And so I'm actually going to go through a lot of this stuff and donate or throw away. These are probably from our very first time to Hawaii. It's like the first time that we actually cared about having them. Um, I got them from the luau at the Polynesian Cultural Center on Oahu. I have that one. I have a bracelet. I have regular jewelry that just needs to go away. I have a black one. Um, yeah, and just a lot of costume jewelry and crap that needs to get thrown away or donated. Um, but also, I need to look through that drawer because I never would have put it in that drawer. But Jason says he might have. He also says he might have tucked it away into these drawers. <sighs> Show you what they look like really quick. And then I'm gonna start cleaning them out and see if I can find my ring. <laughs> I hate that I even like had to think about like the fact that someone could have stolen it. The one and only time we've ever had a housekeeper come. And the only other person that would ever have been in our bedroom. Like not even Kaylee's friends come into our bedroom. Not that I don't trust them. I just, like no one comes into our bedroom. So I'm kind of bummed. If it's here, it's here. If it was stolen, it was stolen and we'll have to wait until we have money to <laughs> replace it, which is probably a long time from now. So let's go through my drawers. And yes, you probably just, well, you'll see here in a second. My guilty pleasure in my nice tent. There's no use in looking back. Okay, here's the first drawer, minus the chocolate that you just saw. I've had that by my bed as I come to bed and have it. 10 bites, nine bites. How many is in a serving? Nine. I get nine if I want a little snack, but I've got that all cleaned out. I don't believe it's in there, which is unfortunate. I was kind of hoping I would find it in there, but I know I've already looked in this top drawer. I've got a lot of my hand creams um, right here. I kind of wish I had a little bin to put them in. So I'm gonna look in my bathroom and see if I can find one or downstairs, in, underneath our stairs. And then these are just leftover medications. I also have diazepam, or diazepam. Um, this is for vertigo. <laughs> If you have been a follower of mine, you'll know that I've had two bouts of vertigo and I am going to keep that on hand for any future event of having vertigo. My battery is flashing. Luckily, I have my purse up here. I came here straight from Trader Joe's 
and Target and the dollar store. So um, just got a few things and a few surprises for a few people that I might be seeing very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. Um, no, I could show you one of the surprises because it'll be after the fact. We'll show you that downstairs. Okay, first drawer put together. The bottom one is easy. I just need to wipe that out. This is like a pregnancy band. Um, I, with Ashley, when she, I was pregnant with her, she was breech for a very long portion. And now this battery is out. How do I not have a good battery? <laughs> Hang on. Okay, just got a new battery. Look what I found at Trader Joe's. Salted caramel chips. I showed it to Abby and she's like, and I will be making those chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I think I emptied everything else out. Um, I always get band-aids from the dollar store because Ashley changes the band-aids like four times a day. And I don't she like- She switches them out like every five seconds. Yeah, she does. She switches them out well, so it's, often. It's because they either fall off in her messy bed while yes. she's sleeping and then they end up on the floor and it's disgusting. Yes. By the way, sick child. I'm staying clear of her. <laughs> I can't get sick going on vacation. So, not vacation, that's a mild word. I'm going for a very short amount of time to my sister's baby shower. Let me turn the light on. I'll show you really quick what I got at Trader Joe's. <laughs> well, it wasn't in focus. I did capture Ash Chelsea belching. She always does that when I have the camera out. Yep, all right, so. Um, <laughs> you don't know why. I don't know that I do it. She's like, making fun of me. I'm not. I'm checking the camera to make sure it's focused. Everyone makes fun of me because I don't know what my face looks like when I'm getting the camera ready. I'm not focusing on my face. I'm just, whatever. So my one of my younger sisters, not my twin and not my youngest that we're doing the baby shower for, um, but the other one um, that just got married has her own kids, her husband has kids, whatnot. She's a nurse and she just went back to school two years ago or a year ago and got her nurse practitioner's license. And I'm so proud of her. Literally just got it in the mail today, her actual license. So now she can actually accept the full-time job that she just got. And I'm so proud of her. So because I'm gonna go and see her, she doesn't know this. This is why I haven't been able to share any of this until after we're back. So you're seeing this after we're back in town. Um, I We're going to celebrate her a little bit at one point while during the time that we're there. So I sneakily asked her husband what snacks and things she likes from Trader Joe's because she loves Trader Joe's, but she doesn't have one anywhere near her at the two homes she lives in in Idaho and Utah. But when she goes into a town that has a Trader Joe's, she does go there. And so I went ahead and got her some dark chocolate and a natural soap bar. These are all per re her husband's knowledge of the things that she likes and some natural hand lotion as well as one of her favorite drinks, kombucha. I could have gotten a dozen of these, but they're like $4 a bottle and I'm like, I, I love you, but not that much. I also got a vase at the dollar store when I went um, because I'm hoping that I can go and get a bunch of flowers and hydrangeas from Trader Joe's the day before we leave to go on this vacation. And I'm going to wrap them in wet paper towel and then um, put them in water at our hotel the day before we're able to see her and surprise her with all these things. So, um, I've kind of packed up the vase in this box. I just got medication. Um, my injection pills come in the mail now because um, I'm, we're having a hard time with supply doses of it at my pharmacy here. So we have to get it through the hospital over in Spokane. <laughs> so my medications come in this giant box um, high, because it has to be refrigerated. So luckily today I had all this foam that the, um, ice packs we're all, all surrounded in. These aren't gonna go in here, I just have it set in here for now. Um, I'm going to wrap up all of my baby gifts as well um, and keep them safe in the car. Yeah, okay, let's go back upstairs and clean out my drawers. Oh, I also got 
Not that I don't have gift bags, as you guys have just recently seen, but I'm a sucker for a cute gift bag. I was like, okay, dollar store. If you have a cute one, we'll get it. If not, if they're just all the same generic ones, I'll use what I have. But I mean, I couldn't resist. She's an autumn girl. She loves autumn. So we went with that. And now I'm hot. <laughs> so I'm going to take my sweatshirt off. This weather is like, like it gets cold when the sun is down. Like just not in the sky. So you get a sweatshirt on. And then it comes back up. And it's, now my room is a sauna because the sun is out. And full bore. So now I'm hot. Okay. All right. I forgot to mention where we stopped off. Um, talking about this little pregnancy wrap. So when I was pregnant with Ashley, I, she went breech at the end. Well, she was probably breech the last half of my pregnancy as soon as she was kind of big enough to go breech. She was. And so near the end, I had actually three weeks, three and a half weeks before she was due. I had a version done where they literally sit on top of me the nurse and the doctor they flipped her they physically moved her body upside you know back to the right position and then while they were holding her in place they put that belly band around my belly to hold her in that position in order to keep her in the right position that did in fact put me into labor three days later. That was done on Friday. I went into labor Sunday night. I was bruised from the inside out. That belly band did help because the bruising is so painful. I ended up being in labor for 20 hours, 15 hours before we realized 16 hours before I went into the actual labor room and found out she was sunny side up. So we had flipped her and not bothered to check whether we had gotten a face forward or not. Anyway, that's what that belly band is for. Luckily, I was able to deliver Ashley without having to have an emergency C-section. And I lost, or I popped a bajillion blood vessels in my face with the final push that my doctor told me, if you don't get her out with that push, we're going for an emergency surgery because we didn't realize she was sunny side up. You're just getting like a little chat with me while I clean here. And I'm not finding the ring, which I kind of feel like I've already done this before to try and find it. I don't know that I actually like cleaned the drawer out, like washed it off. <laughs> Sadly, we're just going to get it all cleaned up. It's not here in my nightstand. We're going to move on to the next area. All right, we're going to create a donate pile because we're going to start going through and adding to that pile by going through this. Now, some of this stuff is Jason's mom's. I can't remember some of the stuff. Like, I think that's like a watch of either his or someone's, his dad's. But then I don't think that there's any. That might have been the car that he had in his old car when we were dating. And we had like a, I don't know. I don't think it is. But so much of this is just stupid costume jewelry that I have left in here through so many different um, moves. These came from Hawaii. I think we had our names put on these. Yep. Chelsea, Jason, Dana. So maybe that's dumb to donate them, but I don't know. I don't need them, so. And ironically, Japanese dictionary. So some of this stuff I will keep. Others I'm gonna throw away, donate. Oh, that's just, that's gross. I'm gonna go through here. Some of it is personal, so I'm gonna go through it first, and then we'll show you what I have, what's garbage, what's donate, and what's staying. Okay, got little jewelry um, bowls in here. I've already emptied one of them and actually used that bowl in that drawer. I'll show you. But I've handpicked through all of this jewelry. I don't use it. It's so old. It's like 20 something years old. It's not worth saving. It's just junk jewelry. But I'm all about using something that I already have. So I just put that bowl right here in the drawer to put all the creams and extra medicine that you want to just have. Cold medicine, nighttime medicine, right by your bed when you're sleeping. Okay, not only have I found Ashley's first or second tooth, but I found what was evidence of Abby's tooth. <laughs> it's actually not in here, but I found that was funny. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that tooth. It's probably about five years old. All right, the drawer is empty minus a tooth. So it looks like I did find Abby's tooth, which is disgusting. <laughs> actually go tell her about it so that's gonna get cleaned out and wiped down this is all Jason's stuff his REI membership card little sunglass cases that he has some stroke his future goals that he likes to write down 
Um, these are pins of his mother's that he got um, when before she passed away. She was able to give those to him and he just keeps those. Uh, Tule key for our car rack and this is actually my wedding headband. This is the crown that I wore on my actual wedding day. I'm actually gonna be getting my wedding dress from my dad's house. He's had two major floods in his basement this past like couple months or so. And so he has had to rip out all the carpet in almost all the bedrooms in our basement and it's kind of forcing him to like go through everything in the whole house. There's a good chance in the next couple of years he's gonna sell the house, which is sad. I lived in that house since I was 11. We built it ourselves. Him and my mom designed it. All eight of us were raised there. So it's sad to see it go, but it's just, it's becoming too much for him to handle. So I'm gonna get my wedding dress. Hopefully it's still there. <laughs> Hopefully no one's gotten rid of it. And I can show you that when we go down. I'm gonna be bringing that back. Um, but that is my little, I have my veil as well, like my long veil. It is in the closet in here. For whatever reason, I just never brought the wedding dress. Probably because I didn't have room for it in the truck that we drove here on September 10th, if you guys remember that story. But I'm gonna show Abby her, her tooth. She won't want to be filmed, but I'll get her reaction. Look what I found in my drawers. That's cool. <laughs> do you want it or do you want me to throw it away? I'll keep it. <laughs> you want to keep it? It's so gross. gross. I know, I have Ashley's too. Her second tooth. Abby, like this, this is what you can do to make Abby happy, correct? Yeah. Goldfish. All right, there's nothing in the sock or the underwear and sock drawers for Jason and I, but really quick, I'm gonna go through my sock drawer and actually declutter it and get rid of socks that I just don't wear anymore. Give Jason his socks that <laughs> need to be in his drawers. So, and we're gonna just kind of sort it with like winter socks, wool socks, just declutter while I'm doing this. All right, well, I didn't get rid of as many socks as I thought I was going to. These are my workout socks, my wear with just regular tennis shoes if I'm gonna go out in regular tennis shoes, but they slide down when I like do major walking, so I don't wear them and like to work out in. And then these are what I like to call my house socks or hotel socks. <laughs> They're just really small. They don't stay up when I wear them with shoes. And so I just tend to wear them during the winter when I'm around the house. Um, then I take them off if I ever go out. <laughs> They're just my house socks. So I do have a lot of extra space. These are all socks of Jason's that belong in, not that drawer, in his drawer. But I'm gonna let him declutter his socks um, and let him determine which socks are ready to go. It also has his underwear in here. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that yet, but I will put like these here and kind of leave it open for him to like visually see that this is something that he needs to work on when he gets home. I also have my little leg warmers for winter I'm gonna put back in. They were just kind of in the way as I was getting this drawer all put back together. That works out quite well. You'd think we owned a shoe store and had access to um, socks. <laughs> you would be correct. Here's another leg warmer and another drawer of socks. This is the third drawer of socks. A lot of what is in here is actually all winter socks. So I'm not gonna leave, or I'm not gonna do anything with these ones, except for maybe like, you know, the hospital socks, because they can go. But I know that I've already sorted these ones. These are for when Jason goes hiking. These are full wool socks, smart wool. I can't remember what other brands he has in here, but they are specific for winter hiking for him, keeping his feet safe and warm. All right, the very last drawer, um, <laughs> It's kind of funny. These are all like bike racing shirts of Jason's. He doesn't bike anymore. Hasn't our entire, maybe he did when we first married. You can see how old and grungy these are, but he will not get rid of them. These are biking shorts, like like bike bike, road bikes. That's a raincoat, could use that. And then these are camping slippers. That's useful. He should just take this and go put it downstairs and use it and a jewelry box of his mother's. So I can't get rid of any of that. He likes to keep it. So well, I did not find my ring. I'm gonna look one more time here on my makeup desk. Give it a little bit of a clean. Maybe I'll get some Clorox wipes. I think I have two left in this container here. I'm listening to a podcast in between talking to you guys. <laughs> so I'll wipe it down. I just, it's not here, but I'm gonna wipe it, everything down here really quick and just make sure that I'm not missing it. Like maybe it's underneath something that I'm just not seeing. So, and like it's not dirty. Like it's all straightened up, it's all organized. I will go through this. Although, you know, I just haven't, I don't know, 
maybe I took it and put it in there when I went when we went to Hawaii in April. I don't remember at what point I remembered I or I realized I didn't have it. Maybe this sounds bad, but I just don't wear my wedding ring often. I'm very claustrophobic. It's probably like an OCD thing. I don't know. I'm very claustrophobic with rings and my watch is a huge thing to like actually wear because um, I'm very claustrophobic with even wearing watches. But I realized I could wear silicone bands when we got our silicone bands for our hotel at the Hanuakai <laughs> two years ago. And I was like, oh, I don't mind wearing silicone. That's not too claustrophobic for me. And so that's when I realized I could get an Apple watch. But wedding rings just kind of make me feel a little claustrophobic. So I often um, didn't wear it. And Jason understands, like it's not a, like a horrible thing. <laughs> I still am married to him. And that's why I often had like a fake ring that I would wear. In fact, I found one, hang on. I actually found one. I thought I was, it was my wedding ring when I found it, but it's just, in fact, it's like blue. It's not gonna focus. I'm gonna kinda, I don't know how you clean up fake jewelry. But I wouldn't mind being able to like put on a ring and make it look like I'm married. <laughs> I can't wear fake jewelry too often, too long, I should say because I'm allergic to the metals, which is why I needed to have the platinum that my wedding ring is made with. I'm gonna get some ibuprofen for our little road trip. And I got a new injection pen. This is what came in the ice packs. I'm gonna dive through my bag that I just packed up for this trip and see if it's in there and see if it's in like a little pocket or something. Still gonna look and I'm gonna clean as I go. Okay. I've made a lot of progress in cleaning this area up. Got rid of a whole bunch of pallets over there. I'm gonna bring this stuff back over. I haven't gone through this bag quite yet, but I have made room for a lot of my pallets. Hang on, let me turn this off real quick. All right, I have made room for pallets right here in order to like have easier access to them, including this one. I use this one quite often. I have two little nail file kits with like backup <laughs> supplies because my kids always take them. Like this is an example. Let me just show you. I buy each one of these and then they take everything. They take all of the things from them. So I'm left with like some of the things. <laughs> so I keep what I have left just in case. And then, um, I have backup supplies. So this is all organized and I have access to some of the palettes that I haven't used. And so I have a more visible, I ended up using um, a gum case to put Q-tips in. So there's just a few pieces of gum, it's very random. And then this is my flat iron mat, which I don't think I need to take with me um, on my little trip. I got my little suitcase packed. The very short trip, <laughs> very short trip. So this whole area is cleaned up and I have not found the ring yet. This is the last place I'm gonna check right now. I never would have put it in here at number one. Number two, it would be very obvious. Like I would see it both from above. You know what, what is this right here? Is this a blush? What is this? It's Too Faced. Look how cute. Why have I not used that before? Guess what? That is going to, oh, it's kind of cute too. So we'll just kind of leave it there because I don't have any, it won't fit. I want to see what it looks like on and then maybe we'll get rid of it if it doesn't look good on. Maybe that's why it's tucked away. But as you can see here, it's like not very possible that things can be hidden. Oops, that's my cuticle oil. Maybe we can put that in here. Like it's pretty organized. Like I, this is, I'm gonna get rid of this one. I hate that one and it's gross. I just, I know it's not in here. So I don't know. And then this is all makeup palettes. Like it wouldn't be in here. These wouldn't fit if there was makeup palettes in there. This is what I was looking for. I have that one in there. I was gonna put it in here. Ah, oh, there it is. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> oh well, I have a new one packed and it's even bigger. And then my trick to hair, hair ties that end up all over the place is I hook them on a little key ring type thing that opens up easy. Okay, you're getting a sneak peek at all the things that are in this bag. I've emptied everything out. I actually emptied out this pocket here and there's nothing in there. This is just my necklace that I got. There's nothing in there. You can see right into that pocket and you can see right into this one. This is just medicine I just barely put in there. And then this side, I just barely put my makeup brushes in it from over in that little bucket there. So I know for sure that it's not in here. Maybe they're in here. Maybe they're like, maybe it's like down in there. I don't know. And it's not like you can see into this pocket here as well. Makeup wipes. I have to hide these. It's like a commodity around here. My palette that I'm taking, that's new. So I just don't see, I don't see it in there. 
it's not in here. Okay, well, all right. We're both really tired, but considering the fact that all of our children are still awake and it's what, 10, 10.30? What time is it? 10, 10 o'clock. We are going to do one more thing in this room to look for my ring. We're gonna move this bed. We weren't gonna do it because Chelsea was asleep and Abby was tired, but now Abby is making cookies. Chelsea is giggling over some funny video um, of Chelsea when she was younger. So we're just gonna do this so we can check it off of our list of places that we have looked for my ring. It just means we have to move the whole bed. All right, not as messy as I thought underneath, my, but maybe this is my side. <laughs> maybe my side is better. Yes, that's a gun. It is from World War II. This is Grandpa's. It's actually a Japanese gun. <laughs> so, um, I don't see my ring. This is where it likely would have been. Um, so, that's unfortunate. Okay, now we've moved the bed on this side. I mean, I'm gonna get down on my hands and knees, but I don't see it. Have to move it a little bit more. Yeah, and get under the middle of the bed. I don't even know what this is. Is this a poster or something? Oh, it's a sports car. Do you have anything else? No luck. I have one more place to look in a makeup case, my old black one. Um, Kaylee has used it all summer, so <laughs> she's gone and she doesn't remember where she put it. It might be in the suitcases and I just don't want to get them all down there right now. So we only have the one down for our mini trip. So I will ask her another day and I'll search through those suitcases and maybe it'll pop up. Who knows? We're tired though. Thanks for looking with us. Um, pray we can find it someday and we don't have to replace it. <laughs> Take care, you guys. At least we got a good cleaning video out of this and a little organization here in our room. You are the world's greatest dad. <laughs> Take care. Oops. Take care, you guys. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.